Hi, I'm uh, Chris King. I'm a designer at Volition working on Saints Row 2. So there's a couple things we really wanted to push in Saints Row 2. Um, one of the biggest things in SR1 was the customization. And so we've totally blown that out. Um, we've blown out your actual player customization. You can do anything from make a male to a female to something in between. Um, you can change your facial expression, you can do taunts, you can change your voice. We've actually got six different actors and actresses that came in and we recorded their voices. So like if you want to have a British accent for the whole game, you can do that. Um, so also with the customization, we've pulled that over to the gang itself. So now let's say you want to have your gang run around and do sort of kung fu combat style and wear ninja outfits. Well, you can do that if you want to go a serious angle and sort of have your guys do like a traditional hip-hop with sort of athletic gear and stuff, you can do that as well. Um, really the thing we wanted to do with the customization this time was sort of give the player the ability to experience the game how they want. So if, if you're the, the kind of player that's really into like a, a strong storyline, um, you know, you can do that. If you want to blow it out and just make it totally ridiculous, you can run around and have your guy wearing a lampshade on his head the whole time with this crazy psychotic facial expression and mime makeup. Um, really, it's up to the player how they want to play it. So in addition to the customization stuff on the player and the, the gang, that carries over to other stuff too. We, we've got a bunch of cribs the player can buy now. You can customize those. We've got customization on vehicles so you can we had the customization in SR1 but they were mostly cosmetic to the vehicles now you can take your car into the garage and you can start buying performance upgrades it can have horsepower upgrades it can have reinforced bumpers um, basically you just make your or I'm, I'm sorry so you take all these cars right and you'll store them in the garage and so you can you can have your gangs drive around and use these customized vehicles. Um, so th one of the other big things that we really changed with SR2 was the introduction of cooperative gameplay. Um, so this this presented some tremendous technical challenges, um, but, but once we got it working, it, it was incredible. So like I'm the kind of game player I like going the more crazy route. So if I'm if I'm playing the game and I've got my guy dressed up ridiculous, my buddy can hop in. He can put on a ridiculous outfit as well, and we can go through the game and basically do anything you could in the single player. Um, so. There, we don't we don't have anything you can't do cooperatively. So like we have activities. Um, if you want to do activities with your buddy, you can do all of those, and they might change um, just a bit depending on uh, how you want to play. For for example, we have an activity called heli assault, and so you'll you'll do this activity, and essentially when you do it in co-op. Maybe you drive the helicopter and your buddy is sort of the gunner, so he's shooting for the targets and stuff. Whereas in single player, you would just fly the helicopter and it would be a little more difficult because you've got to target everything. We've got all these customization options. Um, essentially, we have this new thing called the style system. And as you upgrade and, and do these various things, it boosts your style. And so that gives you additional respect when you continue playing through the game. So let's say I have bought a bunch of cribs and I've totally pimped them out. They've got the pool tables and flat screen televisions and stuff. Well, my style will be higher and thus everything else I do like activities and diversions, that'll give me more respect. So the more you customize, the more you're going to be rewarded with respect.